Well, hey, guys, Silly Tuck here, and we are back with TNA, a total nonstop action wrestling, and surprisingly, no, not Impact Wrestling, our one-year Annie, um, yeah, uh, you can tell how much I've played this on my channel, considering it was my first save, and for at one point my only series going on, excuse me, I'm getting a hair there on my mic, um, I've almost caught up to real world time. Uh, this was started in January 2015, um, of course, when I kind of revamped my channel after an awesome Christmas where I got my computer, my mic, basically everything I needed to start recording this, and I got, well, no, I already had TEW, um, but I used the August 2014 data because... I don't know, man. I think I just did it for some reason. I don't exactly know what I did, why I decided to do it, or what even happened. I kind of just went with it. And here we are, one in-game year later. Eight months later, real time. Technically nine months and a couple days. Jesus, we've come a long way, haven't we? So let's quickly just take a look at all this stuff. Um... Nothing important here I really want to point out. Uh, of course, OVW. People who I check out for ratings for some reason always is OVW, NXT, WWE, my dev, WCW, which is losing money. Of course it is. I'm going to have to probably toss more cash at them. And I think that's about it. I don't think I watch very many other people. Uh, are we already in negotiations with these guys? Uh, oh, whoops, spoilers of who I'm trying to sign. There's Matt Taven I'm trying to pick up. Uh, Tori Hart, who is going to come into our dev. He is some, he's son of Bruce Hart. Uh, and of course, we're extending our shows. Um, so, what is this episode, you ask, if you haven't been watching as of recently? This is the, what I like to call, State of Your World Mate episode, where... I'm going to look at the differences from when this save started to now, um, one year later. Such as, well, starting with my roster. I'm just going to say that. So our main eventers, AJ Styles. So AJ Styles started this save with all of these random companies and then finally got signed to my company, of course. Big guy, TNA. Um, his pop has gone from C's to B's almost all around with a couple B minuses. Um, yeah, I'm definitely pleased with the way AJ is going around. Austin Aries is actually quite an interesting thing because he's worked for us since the beginning, but you can tell where he was a main eventer, obviously, and then fell behind when I hired guys like CM Punk and whatnot. Actually, I didn't hire any of these guys this early. But, and then you can see how uh, that's the tag team titles victory. That's the X Division titles victory. That right there is him defending both of his titles the same pay-per-view. And then this right here is the aftermath of him losing to James Storm and Abyss. Uh, Chris Hero who we have. Um, we're just going to take a look at our main adventures. He's gone down and pop a little bit since June, but I'm not surprised by that. He started off with the D minus. It's now with a C plus. I'm very, very proud of Chris Hero. Um, he's just quite good. Uh, let's see Chris Jericho. Uh, Jericho has gone from B pluses to B minuses and a C plus in a month, literally, because... I had him lose to Rey Mysterio Jr., who hasn't moved at all in pop-wise, which is weird to me. Um, of course, we have Mr. Anderson, the like one weird TNA dude who has held on. He's gained pop despite um, match history. 15 losses and 6 wins. Okay. 
whatever. I'm not going to doubt it either. Um, yeah. Just quite a weird... Oh, wait, wait, No, no. That, this should be all time. 20 wins, 1 draw, 25 losses. So you can tell that since 2015 came around, he's become mainly a job guy. Because he's well-experienced and whatnot, and I can work him well with feuds. We have Mascara Dorada, who's... What did I click there? Wrong thing. Who came up from an E plus in America to a C plus? Um, Mexico, he came from an E plus to C minus. He's overall really, really built a name for himself, and that's something I have to give props to this save that I haven't seen from any other save ever on YouTube. Period. Really, ever. I've played, anybody's played, uh, Moxley has gone down, but that's because I kind of shafted him with a mid-card kind of belt, try to raise its level a little bit, and I can't have him lose to anybody, because I've hurt him a lot. Um, that is something I have to give so much credit to for the save, that I haven't seen from anybody else. The fact that the indie companies, the little, I don't know if you want to say indie companies, whatever, you, whatever word you want to use for it, they've created so many stars. Like, and it, people who typically are nobodies are now stars. Um, we're going to take right here a look at John Hennigan, who's come from a C- minus to a C plus, thanks to me, of course. Uh, how did Jay Lethal do? Like, look, this entire time period in here, this is when he's with Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor built him up from an E plus to a C. Almost two full ratings. That's that's not something you typically see from AI in games. So I don't know what I did with this save, but oh, and of course, my prize possession, D plus to A. <sighs> um, yeah. How did this happen? Damned if I know. Good booking. And the fact that I got him over as a like mega star simply by being James Storm. Um, yeah, I did such a good job with this guy. Not to toot my own horn, but I think I have to in order to really recap everything. I did such a good job with James Storm. Actually, something I should make note of as I'm saying all this stuff like this. Yeah, this isn't the end of the series or anything. I just want to throw that out there, establish all this. This series is still going. Um, but I've done so much good work with him. Uh, can I see his... Uh, not availability. Match history, of course. We're going to have A's. Lowest rating ever is a C-. minus. Uh, where is that C minus? Oh wait, here we are. Samoa Joe and James Storm. They only pulled C minuses. That's rough. Wow, and I also love how James Storm started off on the pre-show, pretty much just beating people. Um, yeah. His average rating is a B minus, but yeah, no. If you look at this, you can just tell kind of where. All of a sudden, boom, I just, boom, he takes off. And of course, you have a couple fights with Rey Mysterio where they have no chemistry at all. But, uh, yeah, like I hardly ever have James Storm lose on TV unless it's necessary because he's awesome. Um, Jake Christ is a worker who will be coming in for us. Uh, he's been built up from an E to a C+. Plus. Whoa. Oh, what the hell was that? And there are my dogs barking. I'm gonna go shut them up. One second. Oh, look, there's Punk, FYI. Stare at that for a second. Okay, I think she's done. Um, you can see Punk here. We got him to an A ourselves, like my company. Uh, of course, Punk has fallen a bit, but he's risen a bit. This right here is the area where I want to keep Punk in between A's and B pluses because I think he's most effective that way. Because he has the skills to play to play. He has the skills to pay the bills. I don't know. I was gonna think of another word that rhymes with that, but I can't. Yeah, he has all the skills you'd ever need for anything. So I don't think he even needs to. Um. Yeah. Um, 
I have no clue what I was trying to say there either. <laughs> uh, quickly, we're going to take a look at some companies such as WWE. Let's take a look at titles. So our Divas champion currently is Sasha Banks. May I remind you, this is a August 2014 data. This is not new, so this probably wouldn't have happened in my game, really. Um, this is completely luck, really, that she's won it, even though... Yeah, uh, I have no clue where that was going. Um, but, of course, she does have good psych, good basics. Uh, not much else, though, which is disappointing. Uh, she beat uh, AJ Lee for it, of course, her second reign. That's quite cool. She's held it since the final week of March, which I'm guessing is like, it's mania. So that's, yeah, that's where I'd have it happen really too. Sasha Banks feeding AJ for the Divas title at mania. That's how I do that. Um, wow, that's funny. Three deep, no, f yeah, three different Divas matches gotten C's. Sasha versus AJ, Paige versus AJ, and Tamina versus AJ. Because Tamina... Um, United States Championship currently is Big E. Um, the United States Championship in this safe has had a very, very weird, rocky anything. Um, so here's basically how it's gone down. Big E defeated, uh, Victor for the U.S. title, uh, on a Raw. Just, just on any old Raw. Uh, and the Raw actually before United, United States, what the hell, uh, on the Raw before the Elimination Chamber. Um, and of course, uh, he won it from Victor, who won it from Sheamus at TLC. And Sheamus was the base champion. Um, so yeah, that's quite interesting. Hashtag push Big E. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship currently held by Rob Van Dam. Um, Rob Van Dam has held this since the... Uh, oh, I think I said the wrong thing there for the Divas title and everything like that. Oh, I might have. I don't know. I might have said everything wrong. Uh, he sold it since the final week of March in which he beat Tyson Kidd at WrestleMania, um, which was fitting because Tyson beat Miz for the title on a SmackDown. And then when Tyson jumped ship over to our show, they had RVD beat him. And of course, Tyson won the Miz, beat the Miz for it. Excuse me, not won the Miz, lol. Um, tag team. Currently, Kofi Kingston, Big E. May I remind you, this is an August 2014 data. New day doesn't exist at this point. That's just darn luck. Um, so they won it off of Hunico and Epico, who are Fernando and Sin Cara in this, which is kind of messed up, but, um, they defeated David Otunga and Tyler Breeze, which is weird, because Mysterio and Van Dam were tag team champions, but, yeah, okay, so what happened here was, um, the Usos had it, they lost it to Mysterio and Van Dam, Mysterio was going to leave the company, so they vacated the belts, which was won by Fernando and Sankara, and then later on, I picked up Mysterio. And the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, uh, currently held by Roman Reigns. He's held it since Fastlane? Elimination Chamber, because they don't have Fastlane. Um, which is, of course, interesting, because I would have had it done at Mania, but, of course, the game doesn't realize, you know, what even is going on. So he beat Cena for it, which is quite, 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 quite interesting. A real passing of the torch moment in my mind. Um, if we are to tour the company, uh, their uh, top five stars are John Cena, a future member of the Hall of Immortals, Brock Lesnar, a future member of the Hall of Immortals, Daniel Bryan, a future member of the Hall of Immortals, Randy Orton, a future member, a member blah, 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 of the Hall of Immortals, and Hiroshi Tanahashi, a future member of the Hall of Immortals. Very interesting. Uh, actually, here, I will quickly run through my uh, thing. We have reigning TNA World Heavyweight Champion James Storm, CM Punk, a future member of the Hall of Immortals, AJ Styles, a former Tag Team of the Year Award winner, reigning TNA United States Champion John Moxley, and Chris Jericho, a future member of the Hall of Immortals. Um, that's always cool. So, if we are to check 
out, let's check out Ring of Honor next. Ring of Honor Champions. Uh, where are our titles? There we are. Um, Survival of the Fittest this year was won by Tim Donst. Don't know him. Uh, the top prospect tournament was won by QT Marshall. Uh, the Ring of Honor World Title. Uh, Michael Elgin is currently the Ring of Honor World Champion, and he hasn't lost it at all this save, um, which is definitely quite an interesting feat. Uh, the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships currently held by Red Dragon. They haven't lost the titles yet. And Kyle O'Reilly uh, is the World Television Champion. He beat Jay Lethal for it at... Uh, where are we here? Ring of Honor Wrestling's Finest. So that's always nice. Ooh, they've even had the match where they face each other at the anniversary show, too. And it actually did quite well, but they be. Damn. Um, yeah, their alumni list will be long, and you'll probably recognize, like, half of my roster. Because I steal most of their talent in early game. It's what I do. Um... OVW. I know nobody really cares about this, but it's just a thing for me. OVW Heavyweight Champion is currently Jason Wayne. Wow, there's been a lot of changes. So we have Flash Flanagan, Michael Hayes, Jim and Olivencia, Anarchia, D'Angelo De Niro, I know how to pronounce that, uh, Randy Royal, Marcus Anthony. Wow, that's a lot of changes. The OVW Southern Tag Team currently is Moose Thomas and Shiloh Jones. That's quite cool. The television champion is currently Michael Hayes. And the women's champion is currently Barbie Hayden. Lady Tappa has held that title quite a bit. Um, that's always cool. NXT Wrestling. Hooray. Uh, the NXT Tag Team Champions are currently Angelo Dawkins and Sawyer Fulton. A lot of just mix max tag teams in here, obviously. Connor and Victor vacated it when they came to the main roster. Troy McLean and Slate Randall lost it to Garrett Dillon and Wesley Blake, who lost to Callisto and Scott Dawson, who vacated it, who lost to Travis Tyler and Troy McLean, who lost it to Angelo Dawkins and Sawyer Fulton. NXT Women's title has gone Charlotte to JoJo Offerman to Alexa Bliss. And the NXT World title has gone Neville to Vacant when he was called up to Callisto to Richie Steamboat, to Vacant, to Mojo Rawley, the hype man. So that's quite interesting. Um, wow, that's a lot of alumni. Most of these people either going up to the main roster, leaving, coming back, going sideways, flipping do upside down, RKO out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, actually, I haven't checked out storylines for anybody. Uh, Mojo Rawley, uh, Mojo Rawley? What the, what the hell was that? Uh, Mojo Rawley is taking on Enzo More, presumably for the NXT World Title, and Jamie... Oh, the hell? That's not Jamie Noble. That's weird. Garrett Dillon and Scott Dawson are taking on Callisto and Travis Tyler. Just because, I'm guessing. I don't exactly know. Uh, Storylines. Batista and Roman Reigns for the World Title. Ziggler and Miz for the non-existent title. Harper and Christian for the non-existent title. John Cena and Brian, which would be awesome. And Orton and Lesnar, which, did I mention, would be awesome. Ring of Honor feuds. We have Homicide versus Adam Pearce. Alex Kozlov versus Michael Elgins, presumably world title feud. Tim Dons versus Ibrocky Ramiro. Bobby Fish and Eddie Kingston. That's cool. Um, do we bother looking at OVW? Yeah, why not? Flash Flanagan and Arnakia. I said that wrong, didn't I? Whatever. Uh, anything else we want to look at? Not really. Uh, no. I'm not going to look at any of these other companies. Um, yeah, there's no real point to any of that. Um, so, one second, I'm... Just as I was going to say, I'm going to restart my recording. It cuts out on me. It's just my luck, isn't it? Uh, Alright, so let's look for any character who is active to view, who is exactly an icon. We have The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, John Cena, and Steve Austin. So, of course, those right there are the big three, kind of, in the wrestling world. Uh, I'm only going to do USA because I don't care about Japan or anywhere else like that. A huge star. We have 
Adam Copeland, Brock Lesnar, Brian Danielson, CM Punk. Hey, look, we actually have a guy on here. Hulk Hogan, James Storm. I built him up to here. Yeah. I Sting. Still weirdest thing ever. I Sting. Uh, Mark Calloway. Paul Levesque. Randy Orton. Ric Flair. Shawn Michaels. Sting. Normal Sting, presumably. I don't know. And Vince McMahon himself. Now let's look at stars. Uh, Booker T, who is an authority figure. Bret Hart. Seema. Seema, I don't know who the hell that is. He's quite over, though. How much is he? Oh, he doesn't even want to join me. Oh, well, fuck you, too. Uh, Harry Smith is actually up here, along with Hiroshi Tanahashi, Jerry Lawler, uh, Joe Anoa'i. Anoa'i? I don't know. Whatever. Roman Reigns. Uh, JB Hell is surprisingly up here. Okada, the Rainmaker. Uh, Kurt Angle, the TNA personality. Uh, Mick Foley, Mike Tanay, Paul Heyman, Scott Hall, Stephanie Man, and it's Tyus. Uh, let's look at draws. Styles, Santino, okay, Goldberg, Harper, Jericho, Chuck Taylor, um, Wow, Chuck Taylor is quite, actually quite impressive with how he's come. Dave Batista, of course, a DDP. He's a authority figure for AAA, which is always interesting. Dragon Kid, right? We talked about Dragon Kid. I was going to try to sign him, and then, oh my god, he wants all the money. Uh, Eddie Kingston is actually doing quite well for himself. Some dude, Glenn Jacobs, doing his thing. Go to Homicide, J. Christ, Jimmy Jacobs, or not Jimmy Jacobs, excuse me, Jimmy Yang, Laronitis, Moxley, Nash, Cole. Actually, something I do have to say. Scott Hall's commentating in America. Nash is commentating in Japan. What do you know? Uh, Elgin, Romero, Strong, Shane. Yeah, that's me. I'm up there. Tim Donst. Uh, Tyler Black, V. Guerrero, went to Um, let's check, actually, our size of our, our popularity since the beginning of time. Yeah, we've come a long way, haven't we? Yeah, we really have. Um, I'm quite proud of this, actually, how far I've come with a D plus to a B minus. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely a big, 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 big big crawl. Our money situation, yeah, money is weird. We lose it. We, 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 we've technically we've kept gaining money in a super weird fashion. It's like it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. Um, we keep gaining money, but we're losing it. Does that make any sense at all? Let me know if it makes sense at all. Um, Somebody I'm surprised by on our Ring Generals list is Alex Shelley. Dude's on there. Dude's doing things. Dude's making moves. Um, yeah, actually. I think that's going to be it. Honestly, I can't think of anything else you guys would want to see. Um, this is a weird, messed up world I'm living in. Well, not I'm living in, this save is living in. But it's going to come a long way. I promise you that. We're going to keep going as strong as we possibly can. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one, which will probably be like a... I think it's Smackdown 04. I don't know what I have to record next. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is Silly Duck. Signing out.